Hello and welcome to Point of View. Today, we are witnessing a significant milestone in the field of moon exploration. Japan joins the exclusive club of countries by successfully landing its robotic moon sniper explorer on the moon. This makes Japan the third country this century and the fifth ever to achieve soft moon landing. However, JAXA is yet to confirm if the landing was successful in term of achieving the desired orientation for the spacecraft and if SLIM will be able to conduct science experiments it was designed to do. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's uncrewed smart lander for investigating moon or SLIM mission touched down on the moon at 10.20 a.m. Eastern Time Friday, January 19. The spacecraft began descending toward the lunar surface at 10 a.m. ET. The small-scale slim robotic explorer, which launched in September, goes by the nickname Moon Sniper because it carries new precision technology to demonstrate a pinpoint landing. Previous lunar missions have been able to target and reach specific zones that spanned many kilometers, but the slim lander was designed to target a landing site that stretches just 100 meters or 328 feet across the lander's smart eyes. An image matching based navigation technology rapidly photographed the lunar surface on approach and autonomously made adjustments as the spacecraft descended for a more precise touchdown. The moon sniper landed on a site near the small Scioli crater within a lunar plane called the Sea of Nectar that was created by ancient volcanic activity and lies just south of the Sea of Tranquility. Where Apollo 11 landed in 1969, upon touching down on the lunar surface, the lander was designed to briefly study rocks at the site that could reveal insights into the moon's origin. When meteorites and other objects strike the moon, they create craters as well as rocky debris that litters the surface. These rocks intrigue scientists because studying them is effectively like peering inside the moon itself. Minerals and other aspects of the rock's composition can potentially shed more light on how the moon formed. Landing near the sloped, rock-strewn areas around craters is a hazardous process that most missions usually avoid. But JAXA believes its lander has the technology to touch down safely on rocky terrain. The Japanese landing has further fueled the moon race. Multiple space agencies and countries have attempted moon landing missions over the past year. Leading to a historic first as well as failures, India became the fourth country, after the United States, the former Soviet Union and China, to execute a controlled landing on the moon when its Chandrayaan-3 mission arrived near the lunar South Pole in August 2023. Meanwhile, Japanese company Space's Hakutoa Lunar Lander fell 3 miles, or 4.8 kilometers, before crashing into the moon during a landing attempt in April. Russia's Lunar 25 also crash-landed in August during the country's first attempt to return to the moon since the Soviet Union's fall. Astrobotic Technologies Peregrine spacecraft, the first U.S. lunar lander to launch in five decades met a fiery end Thursday after a critical fuel leak made safely landing on the moon out of the question. Part of the motivation behind the new lunar space race is a desire to access water trapped as ice in permanently shadowed regions of the lunar south pole. It could be used for drinking water or fuel as humanity pushes the bounds of space exploration in the future. This region is riddled with craters and strewn with rocks leading to narrow landing sites. With the successful soft landing, the lightweight SLIM lander proved it might be an effective design that could not only land in small areas of interest on the moon, but also on planets such as Mars. However, the mission's final outcome is still awaited and JAXA scientists are studying data to determine the degree of success that can be achieved with regards to the SLIM mission that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.